Okay, so you wanna you wanna step up to the big leagues here with your expressions and your sliders and all that crap. Well, then I guess I don't need to explain anything. I can just paste it here, and you can stare at it and uh, copy it down, and you'll be all good. But you know, just in case this has been a difficult and horrible road for you, then uh, let's uh, go through what I've written here. Uh, this is the if else statement which uh, controls a lot of awesome stuff. So, what have we done? In here, we've written one variable, which is uh, r equals uh, a random random number from 0 to 100. We have a, which will be the amount, which is tied to the slider. We have a p, which is the probability that it will move, which is attached to this slider. So let's set up some variables there. It'll move 100. The probability is 50, I guess. So it's 50% likely to happen. So what, what are we saying in this line, known as the fancy pants line? Uh, we're saying if the random number is greater than the probability, so if r is greater than 100, then these squiggly brackets here are the thing to do. So then do x value plus random number generated from minus a to a. But if anything else is happening, so basically if this is not, if r is not bigger than p, x will equal just the regular value. The if else command saves you a lot of time and a lot of hassle because you can just say if this is happening do this if it's not happening do something else you can set up a whole string of ifs and just one else um, you can set up a whole bunch of stuff but this is the simplest version of the if else where we say if the one thing we specified is happening do this thing inside the squiggly brackets if not do this other thing and then this why you know just do whatever but that's that's about it this gives you the most control of things the fewest error messages and you'll never have to touch the expression so let's say i was making this and i was just handing it off to a client who's like i want to have a thing twitch back in first and then, uh, you know, I was just like, all right, well, here, here's two sliders. This slider is the amount of twitching. This is the possibility that it will switch. How much is that? So now when I go in and I start keyframing stuff, I don't even have to keyframe stuff, actually. I just like, it's a probability of maybe 10, you know, click, blah, 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 or like 90. I, should, I probably should have been more clear that, you know, the higher numbers make it happen less, the lower numbers make it happen more often, unless we just change that R to be less than or greater than, but blah 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 blah. The big thing is, using these two values, we're able to create unique things. Now see, I can just duplicate this, you know, and now I have two things that are actually doing totally different stuff, you know, because we're using the random seed thing. So, bottom line is, if this is for your own use, this will simplify it. If this is for sending it to someone else who will never want to touch your code or will be prone to breaking things if they touch it, you can do this and hand it off to them. Uh, you can come back in a month and you'll just be able to say, oh yeah, I just changed this value and this value because you've labeled it all correctly. But that's the big thing about expressions, right? And, and look at all the things that we're really doing here. We're using variables, we're using placeholders, we're linking things together. We're using if-then fancy computer math statements all over the place. We've got arrays and we've got parts of arrays, you know. We've really accomplished quite a number of things. If you just jump to this end thing, then congratulations, you were smart already. But if you followed this thing through, congratulations. I hope this has taught you uh, something about expressions and uh, you feel very accomplished. Uh, go high-five yourself. Go high-five your dog. Uh, go high-five your parents and tell them what you've been doing in your room for so long. Anyway, I'm Evan Abrams. Uh, I hope this thing about expressions has given you some awesome twitchy text. And uh, 
Have a nice day. I'll see you around the internet.